Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Here we're going to discuss uh, tangent and secant lines. So basically, it's, we're going to look at tangent lines. I'll just show you what uh, this is. Let's say, um, start off with a, just a random graph. So basically, tangent lines, it's, uh, it's similar to my, uh, it's, it's, it's the exact same thing as definition derivative. Um, you see that in my other video. But here, let's go y and x. Let's just draw a random, random curve like this or whatnot. Okay, so basically, let's say if, if you want the slope here, this right here, let's call this, say a, a straight line, and then this would be, this is the this is t or tangent. So this is what it is. The slope at this point, let's call this, um, this a. So basically, the, and, and if this is just f of x, so basically the slope here, this line that is, just just touches it that it has the same slope here on this this point or the derivative is the same then that's tangent a secant line is just any line that intersects two points in here so then this could be a secant line so so this could be just a secant line so it's just any point that um yeah intersects uh the curve twice or whatever just any there so this could be also secant line or so these are secant lines so to get a little formulation for this tangent one, it's uh, similar to my um, definition derivative. But out uh, here, we'll uh, we'll go here. We'll just, we'll, let's start off with. We'll draw that same thing again. So let's call this here. We'll we'll draw a, a secant line first. So basically, this is y. This x is f of x. We'll draw a secant line. Okay, so and th this we'll call this. Um, we'll just say this is x, and this is here. This is a. Yeah, so basically, uh, this this uh, line, this slope here, th this would be x minus a, and we'll call this f of x, and this is f of a. So then uh, this this distance here is just f of x minus f of a. And the slope, or so slope, let's say of secant line, yeah, so the slope of the secant line is just, uh, we'll just call this m, let's go ms, which is, usually m is used for slope. This would just be, uh, yes, f of x, it's a ratio of the difference in the, in the height and minus the, the width, so f of x minus a, all over and this would be uh, yeah x minus a so so basically here this is what it is but um, this tangent if we were to draw let's say if, if this was a secant line so as we get closer to it this x is getting closer let's say x was here x was here or whatnot and then once x is right here at a then then we have the tangent so this would be tangent and whereas all these will be secant lines. So then the, the tangent tangent line is just gonna be it, it's similar to secant line, but now it's it's we'll call this MT is also derivative. This is uh, then this would just be limit as basically x approaches a. So yeah, because you see this um, x is approaching a as we get closer and closer, x is getting closer to a of basically the ms or fx minus x over a and then if we were to write it similar to our definition derivative uh, if you let yeah if you let let's say h give h equals to x yeah x minus a then we basically if we rearrange to get x we get x is equal to h plus a and then this could be written yeah, then this could be written as m t is equal to limit as basically uh, yeah h is approaching zero is x minus a if x approaches that then this is approaching zero if x is approaching a so a minus a is zero of basically f h plus a minus a of this is h and then uh, this is basically uh, similar to this is this is definition derivative as well.
and you see my other video on it. It's, it's, that's all tangent is. It is it is a derivative. So let's say uh, let's say we want to do an example. Let's say let's say find. Yeah, so let's uh, let's find uh, the tangent line at, th at this coordinates three one, which is x is three, y is one, of uh, let's say equations y equals to three over x. Okay, so um, what we could do here to do, to get the tangent line, we know that a line is just the equation is just going to be y equals m x plus b, and we know that yeah, and and we know that basically what at, at this point y one so y is one, and then x is going to be three, so we'll get one equals to m three plus b. So now, but we gotta get slope to solve for b. So we, well, if we just re re rearrange b, we'll get b is equal to one minus three m. But now we gotta get the slope here. And the, this slope is just basically a tangent line. So we'll we'll use so this m. This is uh we'll use the tangent line. So we gotta get mt. And then we'll just plug in this equation, but for this case. So what we can do here. We'll just go. We'll just go f. Not f. Okay, so we'll go m is equal to limit as h approaches zero of well f h plus a. We'll say a is equal to one. Let's say a is equal to one. That's that's what. Uh, never, so I mean a is equal to uh, three. Well, that's where the x coordinate is. This is the x coordinate. Okay, so a is equal to three. So basically, we're gonna have f of h, which is yeah, h plus three minus f of three all over basically h. Then, if we plug this in the, into the three x, we'll get limit h approaches zero of this is gonna be three h plus three minus well, it's three over three is one so we'll go three over three over h and if we simplify this one we'll go equals to limit which is three this is again three over h plus three minus one over h so if we were to uh, now add these up so we did this one this one here we could just times it by h plus three over h plus three so we're not changing it just so we can add these up and this would be again limit h approach zero of add these up so have three minus h plus three mm. over h plus three because we're just adding it this is common denominator over h and then if we were to uh, rearrange all this we'll get limit zero this one would be three so three minus h minus three this negative times that so we'll get on top we'll get 3 minus h minus 3 and uh, it will just rewrite these cancel so we'll just uh, erase them right now if they cancel yeah so 3 minus 3 is uh, 0 so we'll just we'll just write negative h negative h and then divided by just divided by h plus 3 and then since we have another divided by the divided by goes on top, so we'll have. Uh, no, uh, sorry, I didn't mean that. Uh, what I meant, okay, so now this whole thing's divided by h, and it's basically this is just going to be written like. Because we know that h, yeah, negative h divided by h plus three divided by h. This just you just put it in here. It's the same thing as writing h over h times h plus three. Because yeah, we're just dividing by it. so then these h's cancel and all we're left with is limit h approaches zero of negative one over h plus three and basically now we can put a zero in here before we couldn't put a zero here because it's going to be one over something over zero it's infinite so then if we put a zero in here we get basically it's going to be negative one over three this equals a slope Okay, so we, we got the slope, so now the b is going to be equal to b equals 1 minus 3m, which equals to 1 minus 
3 times negative 1 over 3. Then this equals to 1 plus these cancel. This is when 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So then our equation, our tangent line, is just going to be equal to, if we add up all the, the stuff we just solved, will be y equals 2, negative 1 over 3 is a slope, times x, and then this is just plus 2. This is, that's the equation. So if we were to graph it, it's if we were to uh, graph this, so we'll just go, let's go, uh, what is this, 3 divided by x, and then this one's going to be 1 over 3 times x plus 2. So if we, yeah, if we graph this, so we see there's the tangent line. So this is the red, this is the curve. It's at this point here. This is basically, what is this point? Yeah, this is at 3, and that's 1, and then we have this line, and you see it's perfectly tangent to it. Well, that's all for uh, today, then. Let's hopefully learn what tangent line is. It's the same thing as uh, derivative. This is just, yeah, that's basically the concept of tangent line, and secant line is any line between two curves, or between a curve, like just like that. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for another mad easy solution.